there was a long period in my life where I went through life just kind of, you know, sleepwalking. I wasn't really happy. I, I wanted to get in shape. I wanted to save money. I wanted to, you know, do all of these things that life brings. And I just wasn't doing them. And I was so upset and I was so angry and I was confused and I was disheartened and I just, I didn't know what to do next. Until one day I was sitting there and I asked myself, you know, Nicole, why is your life the way that it is? Why is it, why are these things happening to you? Why is your life the way that it is? And it wasn't until I took a step back to think about the fact that, wow, my life is the way that it is because of the choices that I'm making. Each and every day I wake up and I have the ability to make a choice and the choices that I make continue to perpetuate the cycle that put me in the position that I'm in right now. And I think one of the biggest mistakes that we make is that we believe that if we had more self-discipline or if we were more motivated, then we would just be able to do these things and it's and that's not what it is. It's not some personality trait that you don't have that's keeping you in the situation where you are. Motivation and self-discipline is just doing something that you don't want to do. You have to want to do it. We have to get you to a place where you want to do it. So it's not a task. So it doesn't feel mundane. So it doesn't feel painful. And this is why budgets don't work. It is an externally imposed solution to an internal problem. There's a reason we're not doing the things that we want to do, why we continue to self-sabotage, why we continue to put ourselves in this position where we want this life and we know what steps we need to take to get it, but we're just not doing it. And sure, we can, you know, try to replace those negative thoughts with positive thoughts and we can have our affirmations. Um, but just because you have a positive thought, doesn't mean that negative thought just goes away. You know, if we have a ton of cockroaches on the floor and we just sweep them under the rug, they're still under the rug, <laughs> right? So if we have a negative thought, we just push it to the back of our mind and our subconscious. You know, maybe we're not consciously thinking about it. Maybe we're consciously thinking these positive thoughts, um, but 80 to 90% of our day is on autopilot. 80 to 90% of our day is spent not actively thinking. We are using our subconscious to get through life. Right? And until you're able to take these thoughts from your conscious brain into your subconscious mind, you're never going to be able to stop self-sabotaging. So it's not motivation, it's not determination, and yeah, those things help, but they're not going to help you long term. What you need to do is be able to reprogram your subconscious so that you're able to create new habits, new positive habits, and slowly filter out those negative habits and thoughts. We can't just push them away. We need to create new ones in order to replace that. And that's one of the things that I go through in my coaching program. You know, the second module is all about self-sabotage, how we can stop getting in our own damn way, how we can stop preventing ourselves from doing the things that we need to do so we can get to that next level, so we can get that happiness, so we can buy that house and have that wedding and start having kids and feeling so financially stable and successful and comfortable that you reach this level of happiness that you just didn't even think was imaginable. So we have had such an overwhelming response to the one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, which I think is so incredible. And I'm so excited and I'm so excited to be able to offer it, it to you guys at these prices because I think these prices are gonna be really great. You're getting a lot more help, a lot more one-on-one -on -one support. Um, and thank you so much. I mean, we have almost 30 applications right now, which is like blowing my mind and I am so excited. I am so happy for you ladies. So uh, originally I was gonna get back to you guys in two business days and I really wanna do that. But at the same time, I wanna give everybody a chance to apply who really wants to try to get into this one-on-one -on -one program with me. Um, so I'm going to leave the applications open until Friday. Okay, Friday, 11.59 p.m. is the cutoff time. I'll be making this, the decisions that weekend and I'll be letting you guys know which ones of you are going to be admitted into the program and then we'll have a wait list for those other ones. And I'm not sure when we're gonna open up this one-on-one -on -one coaching again, um, but we'll have a wait list for that at this time. Okay, guys, so if you have any questions, just DM me. Um, I'm happy to help out however so the applications for the one-on-one -on -one coaching, the link is in my bio, swipe to the second page and you'll come up to this little questionnaire type form, get sent off to me and the team, we'll review and I will get back to you guys. Okay, so again, if you have any questions, let me know. Mwah.